Hi guys, hi guys, Sasuke here bringing to you guys another video from Clash with Sasuke and today in this video we will be checking out our attack log. So guys, we lost an attack, but don't do that, let's just scroll up and guys check dragon in our strategy now. So in our strategy, we're using dragons, I'll show our play of us 3 star first, right over here somewhere, it's just right over here. So we 3 star, oh, sorry. So let's just scroll down over here. Let's watch the attack. So we three starred a max town hall 10. And this was a pretty good one. So this is what I do. So as I place the one lava hound, I place the dragon up behind to get rid of the clan castle to go to the archer queen if she's on that side too. Also to give some extra damage points on that portion of the attack. The dragon can also help for the cleanup if I'm about to get the 100% like he did in this attack. As you guys can see, he's cleaning up the bottom half of the base while my balloons are doing a lot of work and he's also distracting that expo so that is really really good so all my balloons are in the center I froze that second inferno tower I probably should have waited a little while because none of my troops are even close to it and I just wasted that free spell because I was trying to get both of these expos but I couldn't so that air sweeper really really stopped my troops really badly I probably could have gotten his inferno tower with those pile of balloons but now I have a lot of lava hounds on the top corner of the base and now all my minions and all my lava hounds, lava pups sorry are at the top corner of the base moving to the top right corner of the base now as I'm at this point of the attack I was trying to break a couple of walls sorry guys I was trying to break a couple of walls for my king to go through to the center compartment but the wall breaker kept failing I don't know I should have waited a little bit on those wall breakers but now I don't have any more wall breakers. My queen is also in red health. So I have a lot of minions on top protecting these troops. I also have five more minions. So I was just waiting for this air defense to go down at this point. And then I placed all my minions and my archers. Raised my king up. My archer queen was already doing well job behind the king. All those barbarians needed to hurry up to run away from that mortar shell. And the shell came and hit and it took out a couple of barbarians. That's just sad. So at this point, I have both of my heroes at red health. I have a lot of barbarians and a few archers and a few minions behind. Uh, air bomb comes and gets rid of one minion. Now my archer queen is just trying to get through the wall. She got into the inferno tower's range, which is just bad. Now the archer queen is almost going down, except she can survive this part. Press her ability, and she manages to run to the inferno tower, and she gets rid of that for the hundred percent. And both of our heroes are still up. And we got 24 trophies, not too bad. We're at 3708 right now. So here is, uh, so we got a town hall snipe. And then here is our next attack. It's a town hall snipe, but he had a couple of trophies as well. So this is another example of the dragon strategy. With the air defense taken down. I thought I could get the 3 star on this guy too, but since I'm really used to this base, but it didn't happen this time. It, it just didn't happen so I send the balloons they guarded the air defense fairly easily and now all my troops are doing some work the dragon is out of the rage spell he is not gonna go in the rage spell which is sad because if he went in the rage spell he would do so much work so we have all of our balloons in the center right now this is just crazy Mickey Mouse shape rage spell all of our lava hunts are behind lava hunts distracting the air defense and then we're at 50% I just want to get some extra loot with my archer queen at this point I just wanted to get some elixir just to find my troop uh, army and here we are at 60% and we get the 2 star so we're just going on in our attack log and we have a town hall 9 that we attacked for 7 trophies so this part was a fail I didn't want to use any spells at all so now I used a spell in this attack I used one rage spell so my troops are just all going in and I have a lot of balloons in the background with a couple of lava hounds. I place a dragon on the bottom right corner of the base to get rid of a lot of these buildings. And now all my balloons are just clearing up so much and I have a lot of minions up behind. I used all my minions as well which is just fine. So at this point I was at 56%. I was hoping I could get the 3 star at this point. My heroes did manage to clean up the rest of the base so that's perfect. So my Barbarian King, my Archer Queen, everything is running to the center. 
king on king fight with the archer queen protecting the king as well queen's ability is still available she's full health right now she gets rid of that expo and then she's at red health and at this point i used her ability she got rid of the town hall and now she got rid of the gold storage so here's our next attack it is a fail and right after this be sure to defense so we'll be featuring that so right over here we did the same strategy, he had clan castle come out and we were facing an air sweeper. I did not notice the air sweeper. That was a huge fail on my part. So we cleared a couple of air bombs and we took him on from the single inferno side. We probably should have taken him from the archer queen side. I think we probably could have gotten it. I'm just pretty scared of the archer queen taking down all of our balloons. But then we have a lot of minions as well and maybe we can manage to get her to go right directly under a defense and then my balloons could get rid of her. So the next time I should probably try that, try and risk it, because no matter what we're going to get the 50% so there's nothing I should really be scared about, unless it's a huge cup offer, you know, I don't really want to risk it on those, except for that 24 trophy one, that one was pretty risky. So I send my wall breakers, and they got funneled to the proper positioning, I was just testing where my archer queen would go with that minion, I probably should have waited on that minion, now my king is there. I pressed his ability fairly soon, there was a giant bomb right there, should have waited for that to go off. And now my archer queen is running, the skillet traps lure her away and she was targeting the expo, I don't know why she was targeting the expo. I was hoping she could have targeted the town hall. So we nearly got the town hall down, the archer tower was able to reach through and got rid of my archer queen. So here let's watch the attack, the defense that B had actually. So it's a defense that B had against Jason from Singapore. So Jason takes B's base on from the top left corner of the base with three golems and a lot of wizards up behind. Three P.E.K.K.A.s right behind as well, right away, three P.E.K.K.A.s. Wall breakers as well to break through that wall compartment, more wall breakers to funnel his troops to the center and his golems do not run to the center. I guess they won't run to the center, that is just going to be hard for Jason now. Free spell on the Inferno Tower and the Tesla doesn't do anything because his troops are all being distracted to the side. King is doing some work, defending King is doing a lot of work actually. And the skill traps come in to distract now. So the Archer Queen is sniping over the walls right now. The King went into the, into the center compartment and now the defending Archer Queen is asking herself what is going on. So now she comes out into play. She gets rid of the attacking Archer Queen's health by a lot. Now the defending Archer Queen is down. Attacking Archer Queen is going on the town hall. Can she get it? No, she can't. She is down. <laughs> All the defenses are targeting her in the center. Now Jason, being a kind Titan League player, has the common courtesy to give B the 40% for a shield. That was really nice of Jason. So. I guess he was just trying to snipe more loot because there was a lot of loot and he gave B 28 trophies. Nice defense B. So let's just go into our defensive log really quickly. It's the same thing as before, just we have another defense from Dan Espinoza. So let's just watch this defense. So our base, I modified our Inferno Towers if you guys did not notice on our base. I changed the angles like this one's now multi and this one's now single. So he sent wall breakers, uh, activated a skeleton trap really early into the attack. Four golems, I think, already there. Three rage, two jump. So two witches are down, wizards in the clan castle, archer queen and king behind up. Inferno tower is trying to lock onto something big, but it is missing everything because the skeletons are doing some work. So now my clan castle comes out, and the balloons do so much damage to the golems and everything. I think this is a defense where they actually managed to do some work on them. No, it didn't. It wasn't working. So my Archer Queen is just getting rid of his wizards right now, and the wizards got rid of my Archer Queen in one hit. So all of his wizards are on the town hall. The wizards are really powerful in a rage spell. So now all of his golems are right behind. I mean, all of his wizards are right behind. His queen still has her ability, and my skeleton trap does come out and get rid of his wizards right behind. So his witch is now done, and he still has his Archer Queen at green health. He has a lot of buildings to clean up as well, and he has, uh, yeah, just those buildings, just the top ones. I think that's only what he has. So his archer queen got destroyed right there, and he places a minion 
He places Archer. Oh, I need to fix that as well. I didn't even notice that. So he has a couple of buildings on this part of the base to clean up. And he also has the army camp. I should probably fix that as well. So he tries to get rid of that part, but the air defense stops them. So now he got 19 trophies. That's really big. So that's pretty bad for us. But still, that's pretty fine. I don't mind because we're winning a lot of trophies as well on attacks. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I'm a phoenix, I rise from the ashes, you guys be a phoenix, you guys from the rise from the ashes, see you guys all later, bye.